John Flanagan, CEO of CareSource Tampa Bay. Uh, we are here to kick off our 2020 Summer Job Connection program. There's been, you know, the, the Hillsborough County Schools has been absolutely fantastic from a recruitment effort as well as a host site. They were able to host over 100 youth last year. So thank you, Superintendent Eakins, for your, for your support of this as well. So I'll be brief in my remarks. Really the reason we, we decided to start looking at a kind of a large scale summer youth employment opportunity was to address some of the systemic issues as it relates to youth unemployment in, uh, in Hillsborough County, and not just Hillsborough County, but, but the nation as a whole. That unemployment rate for that youth, uh, for that youth cohort aged, aged 16 to 24 is, is in excess of 10%. So you've got a significant part of the population that's not able to enjoy the economy as, as, as most of us do. So we wanted to try to find a mechanism to, for, for, the, for those group of people to enter into the workforce. And what better way than to use some of our resources to be able to do that? The other, you know, the other thing we listened to was the employer in the business community talking about um, talent and skill gaps that they're starting to see on the horizon, and really giving youth the opportunity to enter the world of work by any means uh, is important for us to do. It helps to to create a a strong and robust talent pipeline development system. So we're happy to be, you know, in the middle of that, um, working for that. So. What the Summer Job Connection Experience does is it provides a 24-hour work week for youth um, age 16 to 24 for a period of six weeks over the summer. Um, and it, it provides opportunities across industry sector in some of those high priority occupations that we all, that, that we all um, understand are in need of, of talent development. So again, we wouldn't be successful without the partnership with the business community. We had over 90, uh, 90 businesses last year um, assist in, in, hosting, in hosting talent. And again, the um, support of the county through Commissioner Merman and the support of Hillsborough County Schools. So that's in a, in, a, in a nutshell why we're here today. So what I will do is I'm going to give um, Commissioner Merman and, and Superintendent Neekin a little time to talk about their role in the program as well. So Commissioner, without further ado, thank you very much. Thank you, John, and happy post-holidays to everybody. I think for me, uh, as a county commissioner, as somebody who's been very involved in economic development since I came on the commission in 2010, was, um, you know, our, our youth are not staying here still in, uh, when they graduate from school. Um, and a lot of you know, we have problems with the skill gap that, that John mentioned. Um, and we have really, we've got to get our students involved with our employers early on. That's what we're trying to do. If we introduce them to these employers and they have a great experience, then they're going to want to stay here or come back here. And that's the whole, for me, that's what, how I want to see our community grow is from the bottom up with the people and the families, the students, uh, the great students that Jeff is teaching every single day, um, you know, that come here to, uh, you know, want to work and have their careers and build their own families and really start that legacy, that generational thing uh, that I'm in, we won't be known as that transient community. Um, so I think for me, this was just um, personal because I want to get uh, Economic Development Corporation involved. I want to get the Tampa Bay Partnership involved. All those employers, I want them to take that leap of faith and really, uh, you know, extend their hands out to these youth that are age 16 to 24 and really give them the opportunity of a lifetime. And I do think that that's what it is. I am the chief elected official on the uh, Career Source Board. Um, I am extremely proud of what we have accomplished on the summer job connections so far. And I know from the county perspective, I intend to double our investment. And I see our staff back here. He's probably got, oh, what? No, I intend to double our investment um, in this program next year. And I know that we'll build our way up to 10,000 students. Um, we have had wide support for this um, on the county commission. And uh, last year, we provided just some seed funding of $150,000. Um, but we reached 560 youth in our community. I think that that was um, a paid learning experience for these youth. 
I remember talking to a couple of students that were at the Wave downtown. They said that was their first ever job, summer job. And I thought that was really exciting. Um, and I think just the life skills uh, training. Um, it's not just the paid learning experience, but the life skills. Um, but it's just the partnership that Career Source has, um, you know, which is technically a state run program. Uh, but they're involved with our local government and, of course, our school board, the private business area. I think we're just working to help families provide, um, you know, jobs for youth and in their families and in the community. Um, the youth get, as I said, they get an important experience to engage with the business community. And I hope it will encourage, again, our youth to stay here, seek jobs here, uh, right here at home uh, to help make our county even stronger and developing that good work ethic. Um, I don't want to be known as the, um, you know, the kind of jobs that they have in the service industry. Our community needs to be known for something a lot stronger. And I think that's what's really important. So I'm encouraging anybody age 16 to 24, they need to get involved with this program early on and the businesses. So I'm looking forward to this year and the great success we're going to have. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. All right, so I'm also going to introduce uh, Superintendent Jeff Eakins of Hillsborough County Schools. Again, as I said, um, they were absolutely 100% instrumental in making sure that the program was a success the first year. So, Jeff, looking forward to your comments. Thank you. Thank you. Program is important for our youth. Uh, it's important for them to see, kind of visualize for their future, the opportunities that are out there in, the, in this local community. Uh, so we couldn't be more proud to be able to, to partner. The, the employers, I want to thank the employers who stepped up last year. Uh, and really gave those opportunities for our students. As John and, and um, Commissioner Merman said, we have some tremendous students here in Hillsborough County, and we want to keep them here. We want them to stay right here. We know that the jobs are here uh, for them. We're growing. We're a growing community. And so in order to, for them to, to kind of know what's out there, we have to have these types of opportunities for them early on. You know, our teachers do a tremendous job in, in school every day. Our counselors do a, an amazing job uh, trying to help coach students around their interest and their future pathways. Uh, but they have to find a way to really experience it firsthand. And so this is the, the Job Connection Program, the Summer Job Connection Program, really is that, is that start for them to kind of get their feet wet, to kind of get their foot in the door, start to procure relationships with, with potential future employers, um, and then ultimately uh, either go on to post-secondary, come back into our community and work, or go right into the workforce from, from our high schools. Uh, I couldn't, I have to be a little selfish here because Hillsborough County's public schools being the largest employer in Hillsborough County, we kind of like step up and say, we want to be part of this because you know, not only do we have a huge, you know, 14,000 teacher workforce, but we have about another 11,000 operation workforce, you know, from, from maintenance to transportation to food service you know, business, you know, all those parts of the operations of a school district is huge. And so we wanted to make sure we were one of those employers that stepped up and said, we're going to need to have some folks come in and, and work in the summer as well. We want to step up that effort um, this, this year as well. And as Commissioner Merman said, is this going to teach them some of those skills uh, that they need to, that they're learning in, in class, but now they can really kind of see come to life when they're out there in the, in the workforce uh, during the, the summer opportunity. You know, I want students to understand this. It's not just about having the skills. It's about showing up. It's about making sure that you become a reliable and, resp and responsible employee. And that's what we want for our kids. We want them to learn those skills as well. So I couldn't be any more proud to be a partner uh, here for Hillsborough County Public Schools with a Career Source Tampa Bay and the county government. Thank you again for partnering and helping our students to kind of see their, visualize their future. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, thank you, Commissioner Merman, as well. So uh, a, just a couple of quick notes in regards to the program. We served, as the commissioner said, about 560 youth last year into paid work experience. Our goal this year is to increase that number to 1,500. Um, a lot of that depends on youth recruitment. A lot of that depends on funding. You know, Commissioner Merman mentioned my time uh, in, in the Philadelphia region and my, in my um, time with Philadelphia Youth Network and, and working and partnering with them to, to create this program, not just for the city of Philadelphia, but for the metropolitan statistical area as well, and talking about regionalism and, and all of those things, all very important. Um, when you look from a demographic standpoint or demographic, you know, population aspect, 
you know, the county of Hillsborough is, is not dissimilar from the city of Philadelphia. And if you look at, you know, the sheer number of youth, um, the opportunities are, are available to, to make sure that we adequately address some of those skill gaps and give our youth the opportunity to, to understand what the world of work is like before they actually enter into employment is critically important. It's everything you hear from the business community is, is, is making sure that, you know, the, the workforce development system works with the, with the county government and the education system and, and the business partners to make sure that we provide work-ready individuals to make sure that our economy continues to thrive. Um, so that's really, in a nutshell, the goal of, um, of, this, of this program. So what I want to do now, ag again, is, is I would be remiss if I didn't thank um, you know, the real superstars of this program, and that's the staff of Summer Job Connection. So you've got Wesley Barr, um, you've got Nicole, you've got Nicole Beverly, you've got Alonzo, I see everybody here um, that really, uh, Andrew, that, that, that really were instrumental in making sure this program uh, was a success. I remember walking into Jody's office to say we've got about four weeks to kickstart something. Um, met with a little bit of, you know, a few gasps filled the room, but I knew we could do it because I knew not, not only do we have the talent here, but the need from a community you know, aspect was there as well, so I wanted to make sure that we did it. So, you know, again, thanking the team is something that I find critically important.